yard man, Hartley. Kicked over to Megan, Megan Anderson back outside. Skip pass. Lambro cuts inside to the paint. Back outside, Megan Anderson for three, and she's got it. That's exactly what they're looking for. Free up Anderson behind the arc. Good movement. Get the ball into the paint, then kick it out, and they rotate to find Anderson for three. And Anderson's leading the team in scoring. She's got 186 total points coming into this one. You can see why. Alina Parker, the three of her own. She's got one. Might be that kind of morning where it's bombs away in the Gallagher Center. Three threes made already. And the Gruder kicking it to the corner. Megan Anderson with another run. That's three in a row. Niagara was able to answer the last one. We'll see what happens on this one. When that pace continues, you can just feel every possession has a sense of urgency to it. Angel Parker, guarded by Lambro. She puts one up. It's off the rim, out of bounds, and that's going to be stag ball off the hands of Amelia Strong. And as Angel Parker starts to really get into the flow this season, this is her first home game this year. Three previous appearances. Those are the type of shots that down the stretch as she gets more and more into game shape, she's going to be able to execute even better. But usually that will go for number 11 in gray. That one just slides out off the rim. Ari Hicks and Lori Porter will see their first action on this one as they check in for the Purple Eagles. Nina Salinovich initially carried up and kick it over to Brown and cuts into the paint and looks like it will be a defensive foul. She got cut down from behind. Uh, the two officials coming together to discuss what they saw and as you said, you see right there the foul from behind taken by Ari Hicks will be the first team foul for the Purple Eagles. That was a close one. I mean, Brown was coming in with speed. It looked like she might have run directly into Lori Porter and not, but she was cut down first from behind. Was the call. Porter seemed to have both feet set, but it was from behind that the foul was called. Megan Anderson in the corner once again, and she has been lighting it up so far early in this one. Easy to see why she was one of the players to watch coming in today. She's three of three from behind the arc, and that's the difference so far with the nine-point advantage for the Stags early. And that's going to draw the timeout call by Niagara University. We'll see if they have answers. We'll step aside and watching Niagara University basketball on ESPN+. 